the story of Paisley All Ages infrastructure struggles have not gone unnoticed. The school borders two constituencies, West Rural St. Andrew and South East St. Mary. But with the institution officially being a part of Region 2, South East St. Mary MP Dr. Winston Green has taken full responsibility for addressing the school's problems. We had a community meeting in, um, in a place called Luna. And that was one of the issues, among the many issues that came up, that was one of the issues that came up the Paisley Holly School. And right there and then, I made a commitment that I would definitely deal with the bathroom. Because, I mean, in this modern time, I cannot see children using pit left, left tree. The South East St. Mary Member of Parliament said he decided to start with improving the sanitary facilities at the institution because it's more urgent and it's definitely more affordable to address right away. The road situation, I told him that I had to work towards because I know that it was a bigger money. Right? So I tell him that I would be making representation to have the road fixed. But the bathroom was a must situation for me. However, changing the bathroom facilities at Paisley All Age from pit latrines to more modern flush toilets won't be that easy. It is not as simple as though I thought anyway. Let me go further because um, I had a talk with um, NWA and I relate that situation to them that I like those bathrooms to be changed out. And I was about to use this um, $10 million given to each member of parliament for this initial, initial um, program of Jeep. However, I, it was explained to me the technical aspect that they need some septic tanks and quite a number of things. And then there'll have to be a truck to pull those, to pull those, um, to pull those tanks. And as you know, it is inaccessible to, um, to, to, to vehicular traffic um, up around a distance down the vehicle. You have to stop and you have to walk it up that hill. With Paisley All Age having so many infrastructural problems, Dr. Green has suggested relocation as an option. Let me tell you how I'm looking at it. Let me tell you um, frankly and straight how I'm looking at it. And I even suggest, uh, mentioned it to the principal. Um, I mentioned relocation to her because when I look at the structure, the, the whole foundation is undermined. The walls are cracked. There's a section where the, the, the board floor is sinking. Um, I don't say uh, it's hard to see any remedial, remedial work for them. Right? It's like putting a band-aid on a sore. She's told me that even JC, who came there last year, was, was suggesting a relocation. However, in the interim, Paisley stays put, and the MP is exploring other ways to ensure that the bathroom facilities are modernized. I do understand the sentiments. You know, the school got there some 60 years ago, and so on and so forth. I do understand the sentiments of having it there. So then, um, they, 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 I was explained, someone explained to me um, the new type of septic tank, some plastic thing, which wouldn't be as, um, as laborious and costly as the, the regular thing. There's this new thing. So I am looking towards that. I, I need from the technical persons, um, when, when money involved and so on, but definitely, for the time being, there have to be some, some something with respect to the pit latrine. And, you know, um, some, some remedial work on the school if we're not going to move it. Dr. Green says within days he'll be meeting with the technical personnel to work out a timeline to have the issue addressed. Administrators at Paisley All Age have embarked on a block drive to build steps to make coming up the hill to school a little easier for students and staff. Dr. Green has promised to chip in and do his part. I plan to assist them in the step here. I have not said it to them, but I looked at it and I took some pictures of my own and I plan to, because it was dread. I went out there myself and I even said to somebody, suppose I should bring a tour from the minister up here. How they manage to reach up here? Because it was sort of raining and I fear for myself and I'm averagely fit. <laughs> fit, <laughs> you know? That's how they reach up here, you know. So, with medium term plans in place to address some of Paisley All Age's more urgent problems, a long term plan will have to be devised. And that's why Dr. Green has engaged the Education Ministry to discuss the future of the school.
That was explained to, to, the, to, to the principal and the staff that that is what I am, I am, heading, I am heading towards. But I know that any change to come won't be tomorrow. It won't be tomorrow. And this condition that the school is in, one might say it's like throwing cheese on a rattle, but the condition that the school is in, I don't feel good in leaving it like how it is. With some help on the way for Paisley All Age, staff and students at the institution are hoping that this will be the crucial turning point for the school. Reporting for Live at 7, I'm Kenil Gale.